We have a quick question here from Shauna who asks whether it's really worth subscribing to a service like CNBC or Bloomberg and watching their live TV streams for your trading. Is it helpful in any way? So thanks for the question, Shauna. Um, I think it comes down to really what you're trying to accomplish with it. Um, you know, if you are just looking for something that's relevant to your trading day to have on in the background, then it's going to be a good pick, I would say. Um, I, I prefer Bloomberg over CNBC um, uh, any day uh, in terms of content. But, you know, th the one thing that, that really gets to me is the, the ads. Um, you know, it's just never ending in terms of advertisements. You know, I can't go very long watching that before getting frustrated by seeing the same ad for it feels like the hundredth time in a very short space of time, like 30 minutes. So that's really annoying for me, but maybe that's just me. Um, I think in terms of, of being helpful to your trading, I think when you have access to something like a live um, market news feed and an audio squawk like we do in the terminal, there isn't really anything new from a, um, from a news point of view that you will be missing out um, you know, by watching something like Bloomberg, I think I think all of that information from a news point of view will be available in uh, in a news service, especially a good one uh, like Financial Source. But I think where it can be helpful is when they talk to experts uh, in the industry, experts in the marketplace about their current views on important things and you know how they position in the market, what they're expecting from incoming data points, what they're expecting from incoming you know, huge events like the US election, etc. You know, their interpretation of data, it's always great to get a sense of what they are looking for and, you know, what they're looking forward to. And of course, like I said, how they position in the markets themselves. Many of them will, will talk their own books and, and that's awesome. Um, but that, you know, if, if it's more detailed content that you're looking for, you know, in a, in a helpful sense to your trading, then the, the Bloomberg articles, I think, would be, and would arguably or probably in my opinion you know have a lot more value to add in that sense compared to the shows i mean some of these articles are um are, are really excellent you know in terms of the content that it provides and the details that it provides sometimes they have excellent previews as well so you know in terms of being helpful for trading i think the articles would be a lot more helpful than um than the tv shows itself i think one area where watching their shows has benefited me the most is when they have talked about topics in the market or, or specific asset classes or sub asset classes in the market which i'm not really familiar with or um some things i don't really spend a lot of time on i've often found myself doing a lot of additional research after hearing one of the market experts on on one of the shows saying something and then it turned out to be a really fruitful learning experience learning more about it you know googling more about it finding out exactly what it is and and, and what the implications are, you know, but again, you know, with access to a new service like Financial Source, you're probably going to find a lot of that type of information hitting the wires anyway. So it's it's not a must in my opinion. So, you know, I would say it's, it's certainly something that I would say gives you, um, it's helpful, but it's it's not something I would say that you, you need it to, to have a massive edge or advantage in the markets, in, in my personal opinion. I think you would probably gain um, a lot of value by, you know, just following key market participants on Twitter, you know, finding a couple of key market participant Twitter accounts and following that, uh, you know, the best part about that, of course, it's free. You don't need a, to pay a subscription to, to get that. So um, that's also something that you can consider as, as an additional value add. But, you know, I, I do have Bloomberg up in the background most days. Um, but to be honest, I, I have it on mute a lot more than I'm actually listening to it again about the advertisements. And um, so I hope I hope that helps uh, with your question, um, Shauna. And as always, if there's any other ones, please don't hesitate to let us know.